Hello and uh, welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, this time we've got a, a 1930s or 40s uh, secretary desk. It's uh, got some tiger maple veneer on the drawer fronts and the lid and the sides. And these uh, frames are uh, tulip poplar. That's pretty common. They mixed uh, different woods together. Overall, it's in uh, pretty good shape. Uh, doesn't need any real repairs, but the customer wants it uh, completely redone. It's got a lot of wear on the uh, feet and a lot of wear right here. Now this could be touched up and cleaned and touched up, but they uh, want it uh, completely redone. So it's gotta be uh, completely taken apart Now it's got a tag on the back here. I can't quite uh, make out the name. So it shouldn't be uh, too difficult. Uh, it's just got some small nails here on the back. Now the uh, finial is loose. I've got that. It broke off. On this piece, there's a lot of uh, different sized screws and different hinges and different pieces of hardware. So I'm putting them all in separate bags. So it's easier to sort when I'm putting it back together.
is back down in the finishing room now. I took everything upstairs to do the sanding. And that's all done. Uh, started out with uh, 100 grit, 120 grit, and then 150 grit. So everything's all sanded and ready to uh, finish. Now I did not, did not strip the pullouts. I'm gonna use that for color matching later. Here's the drawer. I sanded the interiors of the drawers. Door frames and backs. And here's the rest of the piece up on the bench here. As you can see, I did not strip the pullouts. I'm going to use that for color match. And as you can see, the uh, poplar is going to come up just about the same color as the pullouts. Now, I repaired the uh, finial at the top. I put a block of wood and drilled a new hole. And did some repairs on the drawers, just a couple minor veneer repairs. Now, one little problem here is this: these feet are made of dark poplar. So I'm going to have to do some coloring later on. Now I did not strip the dividers. Uh, they're in really good shape. Just a few minor scratches and nicks. So I'm just going to clean them, sand them, and recoat them, and do a few touch-ups on the nicks and scratches. And you can also use this for color match later. And also did not strip the grills. They were in perfect condition. Just going to scuff sand them and respray them. I'm just spraying on a coat of acrylic to get the color to come out so I can use that for color match. Once again, with the grills, I'm just spraying one coat of the acrylic. And the rest of it is uh, shellac, strictly shellac, no stain or anything. Now, as you can see, the shelf here has a dark strip of poplar down the middle, but that's not a big problem. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, I've got two coats of shellac on the entire piece and it's scuff sanded with 320. Now I'm gonna turn my attention to the feet and get those color matched to the rest of the piece. As you can see, they were made of a very dark poplar. Now they use poplar for the uh, trim and uh, tiger maple veneer which is pretty common that they mix these woods together, but these feet are very dark poplar. So I'm gonna color match it to the trim and then do some touch up on the trim to hide some of this blotchiness and uh, nicks and dings.
I'm going to use the same color I mixed up to uh, touch up the edges of the plywood. There's kind of a dark edge, so I need to cover that up. Then continued shellacking the entire piece, including some padded shellac, and I mixed in a little bit of red mahogany dye to improve the color. Now I'm going to clean all the hardware. Uh, first, I'm going to test the back side of the handles, see if they're brass or not. And it looks to be brass. I see a kind of gold color. If it was a plated metal, it would be silver. I've got this uh, Pyrex dish that I uh, found at a uh, yard sale that I used for uh, soaking hardware. I'm going to put some of it in there. Put all the handles in there. And then soak it in ammonia for about a half an hour. If it is plated hardware, I don't want to leave it sit for more than 30 minutes. If you leave plated hardware sit overnight, it will uh, strip the plating right off. Now, previously, I uh, separated all the hardware into different bags. I'm going to keep them separated and put the hardware in separate bowls. And just cover them and put them aside for about 30 minutes. Now the uh, lid supports are definitely a plated metal, so I don't want to clean those. I'm just going to lightly clean them with some steel wool. Shelf brackets are fine. I don't need to clean those. And the small knobs, I'm not going to clean those. Those are fine. Those have a nice old finish on them. Now after soaking for about 30 minutes or so, I'm going to start taking the pieces out of the uh, ammonia. And start scrubbing them steel wool. I can tell that some of this is plated metal. So I'm just going to be very careful and uh, just scrub them clean and not try to polish them up too much. Or I'll uh, rub the plating right off. Now just a final rub out with some steel wool and follow up with some paste wax. Now 
Now it's just a matter of uh, putting everything back together after uh, putting a coat of paste wax on it.